Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending today's event as we are about to begin in a few minutes or so. Let me remind you our housekeeping rules. Number one, the link of the evaluation form is given in the chat box. Okay, let me, is there? Oh, not yet. Let me give you all. Okay, let me start again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending today's event. As we are about to begin in a few minutes or so, let me remind you our housekeeping rules. So number one, the link of the evaluation form is given in the chat box. If you have any question, please write your question alongside your name in the comment section. Please do pay attention throughout the whole session as it contains very interesting information. Please be ready with your Adobe Illustrator and if you not have installed the software, please install it before we start. Thank you for your kind cooperation. We will start our event at 9.30. Sorry, we will start our event at 9.25. Do any one of you have a problem in installing the software? Have you all installed the software? Hello. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, good job. Yes, no problem. Okay. Okay, speaker, are you ready? Brother Heidi, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay. A very good morning to our speaker, Brother Hari Azman, and all the participants. My name is Nabila, and I will be your moderator for today. Please allow me to introduce to you a little bit about our guest speaker today, Brother Hari Azman. Brother Hari Azman graduated from International Islamic University, Malaysia, and was the former president of Film and Creative Production Club, FCPC. He has best experience as a head of publication and promotion Chitra Open Day 2019, head of media for Chitra Recital 2019, Adopt Illustrator Training for Caring Multimedia Class, and Adopt Illustrator and Photoshop Trainer for FCPC IIUM.
We are blessed to have Brother Hari today to be our trainer for the workshop. Before we begin, let us recite Umul Kitab Al-Fatiha. Amin, amin, ya Rabbal Alameen. I believe every one of you here is interested, interested in making photos or designing, but don't know how to use Adobe Illustrator or just want to learn editing using Adobe Illustrator. Well, here's your chance. Please welcome Brother Hairi. Okay. All right. Uh, so, hi, everyone. Um, so basically, as what sister Na Nadia is 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 your Nabila. name Nabila? Nabila. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, sister Nabila um introduced to so my my name is Mama Hairi. So uh today uh I was uh I was being appointed to like teach you teach you guys like not not teach lah just to like train you on the very basis of uh adobe illustrator for beginners guide so um uh, before we begin uh i'll just like introduce like a little bit of myself so um on my design designing experience so basically what do i learn before is uh how how do i learn photoshop illustrator is all from YouTube and from try and error. So uh, I would assure you guys that uh, learning Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, it can be like, uh, this is, this can be like your start to learn this type of, um, this type of designing software. It's not that hard. Uh, I assure you, don't, don't be afraid of those buttons, those icons, because it may look like complex, complex kind of thing. So um, uh, if uh, after this uh, after this workshop, I would call it do do help yourself to like explore more. Don't don't just rely on this. Explore more and then just um, try try an error. So um, based on what I think Sister Isa contacted me before, this workshop today will be focused more on um infographic if i i'm not mistaken but uh, i will also like um include some of the part of illustrator that i think it is important for everyone to know uh aside from making infographic you might want to make posters uh another day or you might want to like make a uh uh upper cover page so yeah and then uh, before I start, uh, allow me to allow me to like use the Rojak Rojak language because uh, I can see we have like few of our international brothers or sisters here. So yeah. So before I begin, uh, wait, yeah, because I can only see nine of the committees here. So so it. It looks like I'm only teaching nine committees. Okay, uh, okay, I got forty nine now. All right. So um, I'll start with uh, by presenting my screen lah. Your entire screen. All right. Can everyone see my screen? All right. Okay. So yeah. Um, so first, before we start, um, uh, I I want you guys. If you want to ask something, if you have like, if I'm teaching too fast, you just you just stop me and then just um just allow me to like rephrase or something like that lah. Because if you don't get it, because uh, I cannot see your face here because I'm presenting what I see here. So yeah um so first you guys have to 
uh, before you guys begin, right? You guys, uh, you just open your Illustrator. I'll just close it first. Okay, sorry. Okay, so you guys open your Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, what, what version of Illustrator that you guys have that is being prepared by the committee, I guess? What version is that? Okay, okay, just take your time, open the Illustrator first. Can you guys see this kind of page if you are opening your illustrator? Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Don't don't be afraid to like chuck up je because uh, this have to be two-way communication because if uh, I'm just teaching this alone, it will be it will be like short surgery and then I will I am afraid that you cannot catch up. So yeah. What version that you guys have? Twenty twenty one. Okay, oh, that's the latest version, I guess. Okay. So um, all right. So uh, now. Uh, first, if you are seeing this kind of uh, this kind of page, you just press create new. Okay, this is where you want to start uh, choosing your uh, what is you're going to design, what dimension you're going to use. Okay, uh, uh, will it be portrait or landscape or something like that? Like that. Okay. So now, uh, if you are seeing this page, oops, sorry, uh, if you are seeing this page, uh, you guys just uh, you can see like this. There's a mobile, web, print, film and video, art and illustration. So uh, usually, depending on what you're gonna do, lah. Uh, Usually whatever that I did, uh, I usually create my own my own preset. So uh, if I want it to be a poster, I want it to be like or Instagram post. I will use like uh, ten eighty times ten eighty pixels or points. Okay. So um, so let's just choose art and illustration, and then we we choose the eight hundred times six hundred points. Yeah, eight hundred times six hundred, and then this is where you can choose your your uh, artwork to be orientated, um, portrait or landscape, and then here you can add your artboards, and this is uh bleed, uh bleed. Uh, I don't think you um it is important. So yeah, and then um, if you guys do. If you guys want to print it, uh, this option is very important uh, because um, if you guys want to print it, I, I, I advise you to use CMYK instead of RGB. If you just want to use it on like a social media or video posting, you just use uh, RGB is enough. But if you guys are going to print it, just use CMYK because the color will be produced um, accurately uh, as the printer uh, because printer any printer use the system of cmyk so choose cmyk so that you will get your color color accurate so i'll just choose rgb and then raster effect screen uh, i choose medium and then create Okay. 
So I'll just put this here. Okay. Is everyone okay? All right. Mine is CS6. Okay. Oh, CS6 is a bit, is a bit uh, old. You need to use like uh, the, the, the latest is like CC. CC is like the, the, the optimum one. Lah. Don't use CS6. CS6 is like 2016, I guess. Yeah. So find, just find uh, uh, this, the, just find an, uh, in this one website, get into PC. So there's a lot of uh, crack software, but uh, yo, I might be wrong saying this, but it's your own fault if you if you try this, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, so yeah. So I'll just proceed. So here, um, this is my layout. So um, layout of my uh, Adobe Illustrator. So you can see here on the left side, there's a lot of tools. You can like move it around or something like that. You can just you can like stick it to the side. So all this tool is basically uh, uh, can be move, movable. So uh, before before we move anything, just look at it here. Okay, okay. If you guys press this, okay. This is uh, this list like automation, essential, essential classic layout, print, paint, printing and proofing, tracing and typography web. This is all. Um, uh, what can I say that uh, uh, workspace that you can work on. So if you are working on uh, painting, uh, if you guys like to paint, you just choose painting and then uh, the, the layout will change according to what you want to do. So yeah, uh, explore yourself. Uh, then usually uh, I will use essential classic so, or even essential. Oh, essential is too simple, so I use essential classic. Okay, so yeah. Okay, uh, everything is good till now. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Finally, I can hear someone's voice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, brother, sister, don't be afraid. I'm just uh, uh, I just graduated last year, so I'm not too senior to compare you guys. So yeah. Is it last year? Oh, this COVID thing is make everyone lost track of time. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So um, uh, okay. Here is all the tools, but you don't need all to master Photoshop uh, Illustrator. Get that? You don't be afraid of any icons that you don't know. Just just try it out, and then you can just focus on like maybe this up top, and then you can be such a pro at it. Uh, you can act like a pro lah, but you are not pro, but you are still a pro. Okay, up to you guys lah. All right, so yeah, um, uh, here, uh, okay, uh, if I can, okay, here is all the icons, uh, all the tools that, if I may see that. So uh, here is uh, file, window, and so yeah. Um, okay. Oh, there's a lot to explore here. Tak apalah. Um, okay, at first I will like uh, use, uh, tell you guys on how to use all of, not all lah, maybe half part of the uh, tools here. So first, this one is selection tool. Selection tool is when you have an object uh, before that. I'll just draw a, a rectangle here. So, uh, Put the fill as red fill because uh, it's my illustrator up to me. Okay, so yeah, so um, uh, so it's like this yeah. So selection tool. If you want to select an object, so you can move it like this, like this. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. If okay, first you guys need to um, you guys need to make a shape a shape first. So you guys can choose rectangle tool. Or just press M. 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 Ah, okay, that's a shortcut for rectangle too. Lah. So rectangle, or it can, it can also be square. Yeah. So, um, 
one tip here, if you want to make a perfect square or even perfect circle, you just pull your shift and then tarik. Pull your shift and then tarik. Oh yeah, um, one more thing. If you don't have mouse, don't design. Do I? <laughs> okay. Don't use touchpad to, to do things. It will like make everyone crazy. So use your mouse. So yeah. So okay. So uh, now, okay. Um, kalau you guys nak buat, okay, give it a, maybe it's a curl lah kan. Okay, uh, and then um, if you guys hold this thing, hold this look, this icon on the left, any icon, it will show uh, more than one option. So tadi uh, I show you rectangle, is it? So next, you can just use rounded rectangle, ellipse tool, polygon tool, star tool, up to you guys. So um, if you guys want to make a circle, uh, and then you just um, make a circle here, tari, and then like this. This is not a perfect circle. So if you guys want to it to be perfect, just hold shift and then tari. Yeah, like that. Easily like that. Okay. So um, so yeah. Okay. Now um, I'm just arranging this so that it will look not that messy all right so um this is a small thing oh sorry okay so um first this one tadi selection tool and then direct selection tool the second one okay okay by using the selection tool you can resize the thing yeah Jang, um you can resize it here by tarik tarik just like a normal microsoft word can also do this and then if you guys want to change the size change the size uh, you can just change it here kalau you know how much you want to change the size just change it manually here or you can just tarik tarik from here and then um, one more features of uh, adobe illustrator is that you can group things okay yeah okay let Let's say you want to group this like one, two, three, four, four rectangle, right? You just uh, drag and then you can group those. Okay, how do you group that? Um, right click, group. Okay, right click, group. Or you can even like, uh, okay. Okay, tadi uh, I group, group it uh, up. So, if you guys want to ungroup it, you just macam, uh, you, okay, sorry, um, right click group again okay, just now. So uh, you can also like, uh, maybe this three shape is not grouped yet, right? So we just right, uh, drag and then control G is the same. So control G is the shortcut for group lah. Okay, so, uh, so this is why, um, uh, okay, so why do I group these things? Because I want to show you uh, what is the purpose of this direct selection tool. So if you choose direct selection tool, if you have grouped things up, uh, you can only choose the whole group. Okay, uh, like I do this. Okay. So um, if you use the direct selection tool, okay, let's say uh, direct selection tool A, the, so the shortcut is A. So A. So I can choose whatever in the group to move it alone. So yeah, so uh, I want to move here, move here, move here, yeah. Okay. Even I can drag like this and then choose, yeah, something like that. But it, it will still stay in the group if you change it to uh, that uh, selection tool. D. So yeah, okay, if you don't want it to be in a group, just control G again. It will, oh sorry, just, oh no, control G is for group, uh, right click and group. Okay, so you can choose like one by one. Okay. Mm. Is everyone good till now? Yeah? Good. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah.
yeah. Um, and then um, next is magic wand tool. Magic wand tool. It will choose whatever uh, the object that has the same color as the object that you click on. So if I click this, uh, everything with the same color, the red color will be chosen. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, lasso tool. Okay. Lasso tool is like you you choose you choose according to your uh, whatever you lasso on. So yeah, this is all the selection tool lah, basically. Okay, and then moving on. Um, okay, these four tools is like quite quite okay like easy again. Okay, this moving on. Okay, I'll just delete everything here. Oh yeah, before that, before that, uh, before I delete all these shapes. Okay. Um, uh, you can see there's the two things here, right? The the peta the the square right colored square and then the stroke uh so here what what does it mean by this is like uh, okay this one is the fill the color of the fill the color of the tengah tengah if you don't get it and then this one is the line around it so it's up to you if you want it to be like um yellow colored so, and then uh, the fill want it to be blue. So, but you still cannot see um, the yellow, right? But there's a yellow there. And then, but if you want to make the, the, the stroke, stroke is the line outside the circle. So, um, if you want to like uh, increase the weight of the stroke, you just edit here. Okay, you can see that, yeah? Okay. So um, there's this function where you can swap between the fill and the stroke color. So you choose this and then if you click this, it will be like, okay, it will swap. So yeah, the color control is all here. Yeah. Okay. If you don't want uh, the fill, you don't want any color in the fill, you can just like press this none. Yeah. There's not no color in it. So do explore yourself here. Okay, so here is uh this is the uh, one of the uh complex not so complex lah one of the uh, um medium punya uh difficulty things in Adobe Illustrator is uh using pen. So pen tool is like is actually easy where you can just click to the part that you want you want to make any shape. Like this. Okay, it's like you connecting dots. Okay, why is this color like this? Because I've chosen here and then um, just now uh, I chose the stroke to be like berapa tak tadi? I think four or three. So the stroke is big. So yeah. So pen tool is basically um, when you want to make your own custom shape or if you want to follow Let's see. You have uh, IIUM, IIUM logo in the background, and you want to try to follow it, right? So yeah, let me show you an example first. Um, IIUM logo. So yeah, copy. Sorry. We yeah, always hold shift if you want to uh, resize it uniformly. So, so let's say you want to follow this shape right here, right? So you can just take a pen tool and then take into a point like this, like this. Follow all this point. Okay, excuse me for making this IIUM logo not as what it should be. But you can see lah how, how, how does it function, yeah? Oh, sorry. Okay. So you can do things, custom things according what you like. Okay, yeah? Okay. So this pen tool can only, can only like, um, 
uh, make a straight line thing. So if you want to maybe lah, maybe if you want to make a wavy punya um, uh, what do I call that shape lah. So you just make a rectangle first. Okay, and then you choose this one curvature tools curvature tool. So if you want to make a curve here, click once and then you can tarik. And then here you can click also one and then you can pull it up. Yeah, something like that. So even you can tarik um, the, the point that you made using pen just now. Uh, you can put it like this, like this. Okay, is everyone good? Yeah. Okay, and then um, okay. Uh, one th uh, one more thing about Illustrator. If you guys want to zoom in and out, you can just press Control minus or Control plus. Yeah. Control minus or Control plus, or if you guys want to zoom in just nice, it will it will fit the artwork. Control zero. It will fit the artboard. Control zero, yeah. Okay, this will. If you do this, like, uh, and then uh, okay, one more thing. Uh, another thing about Illustrator, you have to design using two hands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another hands to left hand uh, formula. Left hand to like press on the buttons, and then right hands to use my mouse lah. And then both of your hands have to move lah. Jangan one hand only. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. So control minus control plus up to you guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So curvature tool tadi dah okay. Pen tool tadi pun okay. Okay. And then type tool is basically typing. So you can type like this. You can click and then type. Um, I want to make it a little bit bigger. Sorry. Okay. Um, so you can type like this, uh, just tekan je and then type or you can use area type, you can tarik like this uh, and then um, you, your whatever you want to type will be in that area only, in that uh, perimeter of shape only. Okay, yeah. okay, line segment is just a line tool, you can add the stroke, how big you want it to be. Okay, and then uh, this one shape tool tadi yang uh, I show you. It can be rectangle, rounded, star. Okay, and then paintbrush, eraser, everything here you, you guys have to like um, explore by yourself lah. Uh, this one is easy like paintbrush, uh, shape. Uh, oh, okay, and then this bottom part is quite uh, the bottom half of the things like starting from here to here I think. It's a bit complicated, but um, but uh, maybe we will like explore into this later in the 2.0 workshop, maybe in the future. And then, um, because this is quite complicated things, and then this one, uh, eyedropper tool uh, is easy where, um, okay, let's say, lah, let's say you want this shape to have the, the the same, okay, uh, I'll just change the color of this shape first. Change to pink, not so pink, magenta, yes. Okay, I want this shape. Uh, okay, uh, and then one more thing, if you, your Photoshop, hey, Photoshop Illustrator, when you do like this, like, uh, like this grayish things, and then that means you are focusing on this thing. Don't, don't, don't panic, just press escape. Okay, so this shows that layer one pass. So we are focusing on this place, this thing only. So if you don't want, you you just get back, you can escape only. Okay, and then uh, let, uh, I drop a tool just now, right? So uh, you just choose this. And then um, if you want this to be the same color, if you want this to be the same color as this one, just press I drop a tool. Okay, first you select the one that you want to change first and then you press eyedropper tool and then you just click here. 
click whatever uh, to the shape that you want need to be and then it will be like this tada okay we will copy the same thing basically the color the color lah the color and the stroke and also the stroke sizes yeah okay okay hand tool hand tool you can just move things by hand by the hand okay and then uh, one more important tools uh, in uh, illustrator is that artboard Okay, artboard here. You can see here, right? Artboard. What is artboard? So, basically, uh, by using Illustrator, you can do many. Uh, if you guys click artboard, right? You can do many uh, arts or artwork at once. So, maybe you want to make a bunting A, bunting B, banner A, banner B. Can you can just do it in one uh, Illustrator only. So yeah, uh, I click artboard just now and then there's a option here. So you will need to be portrait or landscape, new artboard, just click and then it will add another artboard for you to work at another place. Maybe this one you nak buat kerja lain and then this one you want to make another thing. So yeah, so artboard, you can just press here for new and then this delete. And then you can also like uh, draw it according to what you like. And then you can resize it here, berapa height, berapa width you nak, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, pen artboard. So yeah, uh, I think for the basic icon, we we have already okay with that. So okay. Um, this is all the artboards lah that we create. So yeah, so we focus on this one. Okay, so uh, does anyone have any question? Ke? Just one question, maybe. Ke? Everything is fine till now. Brother, is, is there another way to group the items without selecting them manually? Sorry, I just read this. Um, uh, you can just drag it lah, like what, what I used just now, just uh, drag from another point to another point and then choose it. Uh, if if you, okay, uh, okay, uh, this, this one way, yeah. So let's say lah, there's a shape, shape, bintang, bintang here and there, right? So uh, maybe like if you guys use this, right, you drag and then you group it. So everything will be grouped. So you ungroup, but if you don't want this to be grouped, maybe this is like the anak theory kind of thing, right? You don't want this to be grouped. Okay, you can just press um, shift while clicking hold, and then you press whatever you want to group. Yeah, okay? hold shift and then press this, press this, press this. Okay, make sure you press this, yeah. So um, it will choose like this for, if you can see, nampak tak ada, the blue lines here, it shows that it is chosen. So yeah, so um, uh, you press this for and then you control Z. So you can see like this here, yeah? okay, okay, I'm not choosing the one, the other one. So if you want to select multiple things at one, just press shift, yeah. Press shift and then and then click whatever you want. Okay. All right. So yeah. Okay. Moving on. Uh, as I was told to like um, share on the infographic tips and tricks, right? So um, just uh, just to let you guys know. Um, like maybe 90 or 80 percent of the so-called illustrator designer or even graphic graphic uh, designer social media punya team they they are using some kind of template that is there for free in the internet it's not that they are too good to design all that maybe there are some that is good like um maybe sister Nabila or so yeah so um but 
uh, there are many sources. What 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 can I say? Uh, it's not sources. Uh, apa dah? Uh, okay, yeah. There are many things on the internet. It's free that you can use. First, like uh, this is a website called VetTZ. Okay. Alright, okay, so there's this uh, website called vectz.com. Uh, okay, vectz.com, yeah. So here, vectz. So you can, maybe if, if you were to search for infographic, right? Infographic clip art. Okay, there's a lot, lot of things here that you can use. Yeah. So infographic je, no need clip right here. Boom. There's a lot of things here that you can use like this. Like the infographic. Uh, this is all like um, yang chart type lah. Uh, so maybe if you want to use this, this, this or this, it is all for free. There's also paid, paid punya. Biasanya the paid, the paid one is is uh, like pro one is lawa a bit lah, it's a bit better. But you can try your luck lah. Kadang, um, most of the time, the free version is enough already. You don't need to pay lah. But if you are, if you have extra resources, got extra money from your raya, why not support the designer, right? Maybe you can be one of the designer in this page for one day. So yeah, so that's a uh, back easy. You can also go to this page. Uh, sorry, free pick, F R E E P I K, free pick dot com. Okay, uh, Okay, sorry for VecTZ, they are the things here can can uh, specially specially made for Illustrator. So for free pick, there's is also like uh, Photoshop punya file vectors. Yeah, so you can use it even um. Things for Illustrator, you can use it in the Photoshop as well. So you can just drag, drag. Uh, later, lah, if um, we can learn Photoshop, cross Illustrator, something like that. So yeah. So free pick, you just log in first. Then log in. So uh, one thing about these two websites, like right, uh, free pick and Vectizy, you can, you have to log in because they want your data lah. Of course, they want your email to send promotional emails. They want your, yeah, your some kind of basic data lah. Not to worry lah. We are not, we are not that. Uh, uh, I don't have a lot of data when if you do want to take. Okay, so yeah, um, here, um, uh, free pick, right. So, uh, free pick has like, uh, a lot more of premium items, but of course you have to pay lah. Like this, Ramadan Karim. This one is Photoshop. So let's just uh, tick factor. And then search infographic. Okay, there's a lot of things here, yeah. So I use this one. Uh, and then there's also this. So there's a lot of, uh, what can I say, uh, infographic or even artworks that is uh, cool enough to, to, to be looked at as a professional designer, but even if you are not, just that you have to edit it right. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't look too sure, but in the end you will look amateur. So yeah. So, um, now, okay, let's say, lah, let's say, um, downloading this, yeah. Okay, download, free download. Okay, open, and then I open the EPS file. Usually the file is EPS. So you just click the EPS file. Boom. It is in your Illustrator already. So yeah, infographic vector template. So, okay, so um, it is like this. Uh, 
And then one more thing, uh, the text here, usually you have to remove the text by yourself lah. You just click it. Uh, okay, okay. If you click it once, it will like show the whole group of things that they have grouped it up. So don't be afraid. Just press the direct selection thing and then, oh sorry. So um, you just press your direct selection and then press until you get into the text. Yeah. So you can drag the text and then delete. Okay. Something like that. Then maybe you just put your word here lah. Okay. If you want to change the title, um, you cannot edit it directly using text. Yeah. Uh, because the the letter here usually the the words here usually they have changed it to outline. They change it into shape basically. So how do you do this? Just delete je lah. You choose the thing and then delete. Then you replace it by your own word if you want to say. How to fight COVID-19. Yeah, something like that. To kecil kind of bit. Yeah. So this is uh, how good VACTZ and FreePig is. It's up, oh sorry, sorry, Apun. Okay, it's up to you guys on um, not, on how do you modify it to make it look like more personalized, more like yours. Okay. Alright, so take note of th those two websites. Okay. Uh, VACTZ and FreePig. And then Okay, um, one more thing that is important in graphic design is your color, your option, your, your pemilihan warna, your color of choice, huh? sorry, your color of choice. So your color of choice have to be like, maybe some people like it to be like, um, uh, nampak from far, can be seen from far, or some people like, like it to be pastel, so yeah, so uh, there's this one website that can give you ideas on how to use colors, on how to use color combination. Just go to this website called like coolers, coolers.co. Howdy. So this is, this is the creator, Fabrizio. So if you guys have any feedback, just say hi to him. Okay, what's new, blah, 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 pangka. Okay, you can make your uh, account and then sign in so that you can save your own palette. So uh, you start the generator. Hello, uh, blah, blah. Okay, so this is uh, the colors that they are suggesting if you want to make a thing, a thing, sorry. So, um, Okay, maybe you don't like this color, right? So you just press space, boom. Okay, they will suggest another color. Okay. Um, uh, so how, how do we choose this color to be translated to illustrator, right? So uh, you select color here, you press the code, and then you copy lah kan, copy color, hex code. So this, co this thing is called hex code. Hex code is like uh, a numbering system code to determine color in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop lah. So you can copy and then uh, maybe you want to change the color of this right. This, this, this thing only like the business thing. So, you must okay here. You press double click in the color and then paste here. Boom. Uh, the color will change. Yeah. So okay, this one if you want to use this color. Okay. Uh, one more thing about coolers is that um, if you don't want this three color on the left, right? You don't want this three color on the left. You just want these two colors, and then you want to see what is do. What are the two colors that can combine to another colors? What are the three colors that you, you might want it to be different lah kan? 
So yeah, so you can lock these two color yeah. But you not these two color. You want these two color. So you lock here, you lock here, and then you press this boom. They will suggest another color that may you may be interested on. So yeah, boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah, something like that. So if you sign in, you can save your palette. Maybe this palette is for okay, later lah. Maybe this palette is for like project AI, blah blah blah. Then you can save for another color lah. So yeah. Okay, so to be coolers. Okay, the, I think the three website is enough lah, kot, for the time being, because uh, you might your your apa, the information may be overloaded to you. So, oh, okay. Um, the easy prepaid coolers. Okay, w one more thing is uh sorry. Uh, one more website is for font F O N T. So uh usually uh you will not use the 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 font in your system because it is all boring punya font right like um uh, font times new roman you don't usually it in the design so you can go to this website called the font okay, sorry the font.com okay the font.com so there's a lot of um fonts here there's also uh, other font websites lah, but this is the one that I usually use to um, the font. Uh, usually, uh, the, there are like four font that I usually use, which is um, Nexa. Nexa. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not here. So next uh money. Sorry. Next uh font. And maybe you can get it in the yeah, there's a lot of other website lah. Next uh yeah. this next uh font is um it's very very simple and then um easy lah to 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 use. So uh, I'll just give you an example first lah. So I just download this Nexa font. Okay, download Nexa. Start download. Okay, open. Okay. Um. So uh, you will see like this too, and then uh, you it will be it will be like compressed kind of file. So you have to extract it. Extract here. Extract to Nexa lah. Nexa two, and then you have to find where. The, the, the extracted file is sorry my file is a bit too much here so so you can just click double click on the this is this is the next up one yeah i make it okay next up bold next up like so how do we install this it's just uh you can easily like choose both of the font this is not font yeah this is the the punya the punya apa nama the you license so uh, you pilih the font, the font usually uh, .otf ataupun ttf. So you will know when the the format is like that lah. So usually you can press double click and then install. Yeah. Okay, this is the next up one. Okay. It is very simplistic, very, very simple, very senang to look at. Or oh, even if there is a one more than one font you can just drag and then right click and then install for all users so yeah it is in, it is installing okay dah. that's it so um uh you might want to take note take note on this i usually use uh nexa gotham g-o-t-h-a-m gotham font gotham i think it is here it is also not here no okay. so yeah uh, you can just search la the font font hey the font plus sorry gotham so yeah gotham font So I have it here, like Gotham Italy, Gotham Bull. 
So this is the Gotham Bowl install. Okay, I have it. I have it already installed. So yeah, Gotham, and then uh, Montserrat, Montserrat. So another one is Montserrat, Montserrat. Yeah. Uh, this point Montserrat and then the last one is Avenir so all, all of this one this four point is may, may look like quite the same to each other but it's actually different what what I like for this one is basically it is simple it is easy to read lah okay okay so if you guys got all the font ready so maybe uh you can just um sorry where is it now? okay so yeah this is Avenir so if you guys um you guys can explore your own Apple option of font lah, but this four is uh, the, the one that I usually use. Okay. So, uh, and then um, um, before, okay, so uh, basically uh, um, now I think you have got all your basic things to work on, on making infographic. Um, just that you you guys have to um, go into the prepay vector like choose whatever vector whatever template that you want and then you can edit it accordingly lah okay yeah so I'll show you one example that I made uh, when I was working when I was working at the uh, Bangsa where yeah where did I put it design is it new graphic yeah so so let let me just show you yeah so this is what i did uh, okay if you guys notice uh this thing okay yeah okay this is what i did okay um i can show you where did i take it like three page yeah infographic Uh, it is basically this one, yeah. Okay, yeah, this one, and then I change it to be where is it? Oh, I close it already. Okay, okay, yeah. I change it to be this one. Okay, it is basically like the same, cuma yeah. So I I add a bit of background, and then I add a like a, the wavy shape down here, logo here just a simple shape here something like that yeah and then the title then uh, i search for laptop and iphone something like that and then i put the website here inside the laptop and iphone so yeah so this is what i did by using this so you have to be creative one uh, one you have to be creative and then uh you have to another one you have to like use all the resources that you have maybe uh this thing uh, i take it from uh free pick and then the background i take it from google and then this one is also free pick macam tu lah you have to like mix uh, many resources into one so that you can get your own personalized kind of artwork not just copy and paste i even change the color here that one jelah yang I write in. There are the things that I just took to tukar, -tukar je lah. So yeah, it's basically like that. And then, um, okay. Then one more thing about uh, Illustrator, right? Uh, I missed this just now. Okay, uh, there's this one function called clipping mask. Okay, yeah. So sorry, I have to like go back to the uh, basic function of the AI back. Okay, clipping mask, yeah. So clipping mask, what is clipping mask? Uh, it's actually, where is it? Basically, I just, okay. Um, it is basically, okay. 
okay tak apalah um, clipping mask is where you clip one picture or uh, image into a shape or object okay uh, as an example kan if you want to make your resume punya uh, profile picture ya yeah. okay yeah. profile picture display picture ya yeah. apa apalah okay so let as an example this is uh, a four paper right okay yeah. So you want to make a okay <laughs> here you want it to be your face right so maybe so this way so which one is the cutest yeah uh okay that case I'll have to take this one copy copy image ah what, one more thing about illustrator you can just copy image paste you can copy anything from even from whatsapp you just right click copy and then paste it here control v on the source okay so you zoom out you zoom out and then you uh kecilkan sikit then ah okay you want this cat to be in the shape yeah this can be okay this can be used like this uh, like uh, i use it here yeah yeah so this is where i use it so how do i make that it's just you make a shape on the back and then you you tadi you dah paste the picture of uh, of yourself here and then you just you can also crop this thing lah kalau you want it to be like a little bit center kind of thing so apply so you bring it in in front of the shape yeah okay okay if uh, the thing is um dekat and to arrange it to front okay if it is like this kan uh, you it will not successful lah okay so how uh, if it if it is like this you have to like right click on the shape arrange and then send to back so it is like we are arranging the thing daripada belakang daripada from the very back to the very front lah so the shape have to this the this picture have to thin they have to eh point arrange print to form okay have to be in front of the shape and then you have to choose both of them both of the shape and then right click and then make clipping mask Eh, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got it wrong. Arrange. Uh, the shape has to be in front, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay, the shape has to be in front, and then right click, drag both of them, and then make clipping mask. Boom. Okay. Okay. Then you can write whatever you want here, lah. Okay. If you don't want this, right click, release clipping mask. Boom. Ah, uh, they can tracing balik. Uh, but the the shape is missing already so you just make clipping mask again okay if you want to adjust the picture inside you have to double click yeah double click and then you can move it okay 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 is everyone good okay yeah so um by using all that uh, i thought you guys just now oh ha bagus zaim they listing everything okay okay so um uh by using the everyone everything that i thought just now i think you can at least make a basic basic kind of assignment punya infographic because uh you don't need you don't need to be very 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 susah pun so a very complex kind of design so i believe you guys can explore by yourself uh, by using those lah and then um, um okay i can show you this one uh, infographic that i made uh, when i was studying so it is very like uh, yeah this this is it so uh, uh, it may look a bit pixelated so this one time same so yeah 
Uh, I use this template and then I tampal the one. Okay, the the background of choice is bad. So this is like what three years ago. So yeah, um, it can easily be like this lah. And then this this thing I think got like uh 13 marks out of 15 got. So yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so something like that lah. So don't 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 go too hard on yourself. Jangan stress stress buat design. Try and error lah. And then um, um uh, one more thing is the key to good design is that you have to mix more than one resources lah sebenarnya. Don't just rely on one. You have to tambah tambah and then ah uh, and then don't 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 make things too complex. Jangan put a lot of things into one one page kalau boleh. Sebab so, tapi that's a sorry this is talking ah uh, this is uh, speaking uh, like in the perspective of student or even lecturers there's some lecturer yang want everything to be in one page kan so yeah up to them lah so yeah so basically it's that's that lah um, on the designing part of infographics so sekarang dah buat apa ten twenty six okay um, Is there any question that you guys want to ask ke apa ke sebab uh, I think uh, illustrator is basically that and then that is quite the easy one lah. Uh, I will like uh, try to explore on the the more complex one after this. Like there's this thing called 3D um, path, pathfinder yeah artistic blur something like that. so maybe we will like go into that later mm. so yeah does anyone have any question ke apa ke can i ask yeah please um uh early you said about cmk and rgb if yeah cmyk I, yeah yeah cmyk and okay. rgb Okay. So if I use R uh, CMYK for designing, is it because you said CM CMYK is for printing? Yeah. Um, just a basic, and then RGB is for uh, RGB is for uh, to designing um designing. Okay. But if you want to print CMYK. Okay. Okay, but um, if I use CMYK for designing, not for printing, uh, is it um boleh macam ni? The effect tak? Okay, so um, <clears throat> one thing about CMYK, uh, the file will be uh, a lot uh, heavier lah. So uh, a lot heavier, and then and then one more problem is about if you are using CMYK, if you notice when you design things in CMYK, if you move it to like uh, your phone ke, uh, or even you show it in your laptop, the color will change a bit, a bit je. Macam you akan nampak orang tu akan berubah sikit macam akan nampak a bit dull ke macam tu lah. The color is not that accurate. Sebab uh, the system that is used uh, by our phone or even laptop is all RGB. So um, uh, tapi different different version of RGB lah but some some phone or some monitors ada yang IPS kind of monitor dia will show accurate RGB or something like that. But if you are using CMYK the color will surely change bila you masuk laptop kan, the blue will look different. But when you print it out, the, whatever you design, the color will be the same as what you printed. Okay, that's why I cakap if you want to print these things, you choose CMYK. Uh, tapi kalau you buat RGB pun, you print pun, mata kasar tak nampak pun. But um, if you are designing like something important like baju ke or um, maybe banner that is color, color comprehensive kind of thing. You have to be accurate lah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other question? Uh, Brother Ali. Yes. Uh, I have a question regarding the flipping. Uh, is it okay for us to not uh, not giving the credit to the original author for oh. our works? Okay. Is it uh, we will be subjected to law or something like that? Okay. 
Okay, uh, this is talking based on experiment. Uh, as what you can see, uh, I'm still here. Okay, so uh, I haven't paid any summons yet. Okay, so um, basically, if you want to use their resources, right? Um, whatever stated in the free pick or even back is it? Uh, if you want to use it, use it as your personal purposes, bukan for commercial purposes. Okay, yeah? personal purposes. If commercial purposes, contohnya lah, uh, this one company can, uh, maybe Dutch lady ke, dia nak post pay. Even if you can see, right, I don't know lah, uh, everything that have been produced by the KKM, KKM or even jawatan kuasa, jaminan vaksin, JKJAV, under KJ, uh, they are using free pick. If, if you can see, if you can look at the artwork, you can surely know that it's free pick. So maybe they orang bayar kot. Yeah, you can pay like uh, I think berapa ringgit lah per month. 40 ringgit kot per month. If you have the money, go, go. No problem. Okay. But um, if you don't have the money, uh, make it very personal use lah. Uh. And then if you go commercial, it's up to you. If you get someone, it's not my problem. So yeah, um, but 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 that's an advice. If you want to make it, if you want to make it more personal, you mix around a lot of a uh, lot of things at once lah. Jangan uh, resources A campur resources B, resources C sama, and then you make into one artwork. Artwork. Don't simply simply tukar and then make it look like very obvious. Yeah. Tukar-tukar lah sikit. Yeah, don't don't be too 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 lazy to do things lah. Don't be a designer if you're lazy. Yeah. So, yeah. Any other question? Oh, it's already 10.30. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, can, can you stop sharing? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me start summarize what I think I get. So brother Hairi mentioned, try to learn, don't be afraid of those weird button. And then RGB is for online purpose, CMYK from printing and uh, get into, okay, uh, if you want to start your adult illustrator, use, uh, begin with uh, creating shapes and then please use your mouse and then tips on um, website or template that you can use, like Brother Zaim uh, stated in the chat box, free pick, Zentesi card colors, and the font. And for font, Montserrat, Nexa, and Gotham. And the, the, I think the favorite one for the speaker is Gotham. And then if you want to... There's one more, Avenir. Oh, okay, Avenir. Thank you. Okay. Okay, and then uh, what is good about Illustrator, you can copy any image in the website or anywhere and then you can just paste it. And then key to one design is rely on many sources. Sources A, B, and C. Oh. Welcome back. Um, okay. So, uh, moving on to the second part, as we still have uh, like some time, um, So now I will um, like uh, teach you guys on how how to use some part of these things. Cause uh, okay, yeah, we yeah, we do roti Okay. You might want to continue on your if you are taking not taking notes like on the notes uh, related to this part of tools where um, um, let's just focus on this two tool first the rotate tool and scale tool okay yeah um, uh, I'll just draw draw a, a, a shape first lah okay. Yeah. So, uh, one more thing, yeah. Um, this shape, you can also draw it without even a line and fill and the color inside, yeah. Okay. 
you might not see there's a shape here but there's actually a shape uh, here so why this is happening because uh, i don't choose uh, i choose no fill and then no stroke yeah so um, excuse me but i think you're not sharing the screen so oh, we can't yeah, yeah, yeah. Really sorry see. sorry sorry okay. thank you Oh, before this, uh, this experience only happened to my lecturer, not me. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Here, uh, like what I said just now, okay. Uh, one more thing about Illustrator is that um, you can draw a shape, you can make a shape without any, um, without any, uh, Upper, what do I can say that without any fill or lines? Okay, if you can see it, I, I have drawn a shape here. So, yeah, but it is not visible because I don't choose, I, I don't uh, choose any fill and then stroke. So, yeah, uh, there's actually a shape here. So, so, let me just put some color in it. Purple. Okay. Why doesn't it change? Doesn't it change? Okay. Yeah, what is happening? Okay. Okay. Something else happening in the background just now. Okay. So okay, let's see like, yeah, this thing. Okay, I'll just uh I'll just put in one um one shape here so I can introduce you guys to these two tools. All right. So the first one is the rotation, rotate, rotate tool R. So it does what it see, which is to rotate. So uh, when you press R or even press the rotate tool, uh, the uh, rotate tool, you can, you can, your your cursor will change to this the plus the plus uh, cursor so you can put wherever your what I can see, your anchor to be on like this if you want it to be here and then okay this is the place that you want it to be the center and then you can just drag anywhere in the area to rotate your things oh, before that before that you have to choose the 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 what was it? the object first Okay, the object first, and then you press rotate, and then okay, it the the default setting is to rotate from the center, but you can also like okay, if you rotate from the center, it will be like this lah, kan? But you can also move the the point to the hujung, maybe lah. Yeah, you can also rotate like that. Okay, so this this is like where you want to put the the reference point on. You can pushing there huh? it will the the point will be fixed and then you can pushing from the side lah, from uh, according to what you want okay yeah? and then okay if okay then you have settled rotating right so you want it to be like that then you choose this thing and then you you can use scale tool just to like make it bigger expand contract yeah Oh, uh, it can also be like this. Yeah. Uh, so it is um, a little bit much um, um, complicated, but you you have to uh, try and if you tarik to this side, it will be like a window maybe right uh, like this. Okay, so you can also tarik from that side, yeah, something like that. So um, so based on this uh, point you can yeah i'll just draw another another beta okay. so 
you can expand the things and then, or if you you can also change the center to somewhere else oh. uh, so this shape uh, this scale tool you you may not want to use it lah if but if you want to like um uh, i advise you not to use it just just use the normal resizing one lah just use uh selection tool and then you drag according to what you like and then if you want to move it you just move it by your own lah because the selection the skill tool here me um is is not is not necessary pun uh, but there's some people like to use it so yeah okay and then um free transform tool okay uh this one is with tool ni okay and then this one is free transform tool if you can see it here you can like tarik it's freely lah it can be like this uh, can be like this this one this one you have to like um, tarik from the from the the point where it, it has like the round the circle with outline in it yeah you you don't tarik from the solid circle uh, if you tarik from the solid circle the shape will move you, you can tarik from here uh. so yeah it's just like that lah this but uh, you don't usually use this lah this is just for your own knowledge Maybe you will use this in the future, but I don't know. I don't usually use it. Okay. Okay. So, and then, uh, shape builder tool ni, uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with. So, maybe if you have more time, you can like Google yourself. And then next one is this perspective tool. Okay, this perspective tool ni is very useful if you have you want to do like 3d 3d kind of thing with your knowledge on perspective so maybe some of our brothers in maybe architecture know more about this just that if you want to draw things according to perspective maybe we want to make a cube like this right so this is the guidance lah if you choose pen to write you can like start it from here to here to here to here then you complete the circle and then maybe okay so this one you make it a little bit darker So, and then you go put another pen. Eh, okay, sorry. Put another pen and then you put it here. So, you can see right from here that. Yeah, that we have our like 3D kind of shape lah. So, um. I'll ch just change it to a little bit. Uh, so it is like this. So you can. So this is the function of perspective grid lah. But still, if you uh, if you really need to use this, then you you use it. If you are not sure how to use this, um, you have to learn more about it because um this is not that uh compulsory point if you need to design things yeah okay maybe this is uh useful for designers or even architects or maybe card students they would know lah. okay and then um putting that aside okay how do i do this 
So it will be like this lah. Ah, uh, dia dia dah hasil. So ah uh, yeah, it look a bit a little bit of 3D lah. So although it is not perfect. So yeah. So ah uh, and then um okay mesh tool mesh tool ni I'm not very sure. Okay gradient tool ni. Gradient tool ni is basically we can we can choose our gradient lah to maybe I'll choose this thing right and then um I choose gradient tool choose the color gradient ah uh, here yeah this is the place where you can choose the color to gradient okay this is where you can choose your color lah. Uh, color to color to whatever you want maybe green to white or something like that so or even darker darker purple to lighter purple So it can be like that. So gradient is you can you can apply this gradient into any shape that you make lah. Um, let me show you another example of using gradient. Okay, color kan ha? Yeah. If you have already chosen your gradient here, okay. These three things is first. This one, the left one is solid color. You don't have any mixture of color, just one color. And then the the second part is gradient where you can tambah two colors at once or even three colors at once. So you can also tambah here. You nak tambah warna apa kat sini kuning. Ha, you can jadi like that lah. Okay ah. And then um, if you have chosen your gradient here, uh, the this will be like um, the deep, the more what what do I say comprehensive punya. Buttons is all here lah. You can choose radial gradient ke. Ha, dia akan jadi bulat lah gradient here. Then or another one. Free from, free from gradient. So it's up to you. Or which gradient that you want to have. Yeah. So. Yeah. If you can see it here. Okay. Okay. So. um, In this. Uh, okay. And then I dah terangkan tadi. Uh, symbol sprayer ni. Okay, yeah, this, this one you have to select symbol first. But it's okay lah, don't, you don't use it. Pun. And then, um, I think that is all that you, you can, you can explore here. If, if you have any like, uh, curiosity on what these things do, or even mesh tool, you can like, Google how to use mesh tool. Yeah? Adobe Illustrator. So and then uh, we move on to this part of uh, of the software, which is this one is the color. You have, when you click here, you can just change the color, or even you can change the color here, or you can just change the color here. Yeah, this is like a color palette or something like that, lah. So there's a color guide here. Ah, uh, shades, tints, you know, gelap ke cerah ke, it's all here, lah. Okay, let's say, uh, okay, I'm using like, um, uh, what do I see, uh, solid color kind, okay. Okay, kejap ya, I betulkan the artboard behind this, look, looks weird. So, okay. Okay, uh, so this is the color guide. First so, uh, okay, color and color guide. This is the color swatches. Swatches is like your makeup when you can, so you not swatch on apa and then everything. First so you can also add your swatch. Like you nak tambah ke new swatch, warna apa. Maybe you like this one color. So you tambah lah, uh, swatch name apa. My favorite. So color type. Uh, process color global RGB CMYK tadi kan. So you can change up to what, whatever you like. Uh, so add to my library. Nanti like that. So you tekan OK nanti the color will will show here ya. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so brushes, symbols. Okay, brushes ni uh, is where when you use this brush tadi. Okay, let's say your brush is like this kan tadi. So you can also use this type of brush. Dia macam, uh, dia macam uh, macam tu lah. So deep, macam realistic sikit kata dia. Uh. So this one macam uh, guna brush-brush yang kering-kering basah sikit. Something like that. So yeah, brush ni. Okay. Oh, there's uh, many type of other brush here. You can explore by yourself. And there's symbols. So symbols ni is where uh, is where the spray thing works. Symbol sprayer tools. So, cap. Ah, uh, tengok. Bila I tekan sekali dia akan keluar. Boom, boom, boom. Contoh. Okay. So you choose your symbol first here, and then you tekan spray. Dia akan keluar lah. You can like uh, tambah your symbol by uh, by this like three D symbol banyak lagi sushi sushi buat dia ya yeah, huh. maybe you one day sah huh? boom okay so banyak lagi uh, I haven't even explore this symbol kind of thing so this one is just we go through laju laju je lah kan. So and then uh, this one, okay, kita padang balik all the mengarut-ngarut thing. Okay, and then this one is, um, this one tadi stroke tadi. So tadi it is here and at the same time it is also here. So you guys jangan uh, keliru tau. Um, these two things is the same. So you jangan kelang kabut macam, eh ni apa pula, tu apa pula kan, tu lah. So go this this way and then you can tambah lah the stroke what color you want the stroke kalau you buat biru stroke biru fill pun biru tak nampak lah is it so you can go by using black and then the stroke is here gradient is the, the one that I mentioned before so transparency so uh, macam the one that I did before right so this thing here is basically um Uh, how do I do the background ni? I cari je at the, at the internet macam KL punya background, KL City punya background. So, tapi yang illustrator punya lah. So, I put it in the in the back. I send to back. So, I just lower the opacity lah. Uh, so, dia jadilah seketul background. Another background, yeah. Alright. So, yeah. So, and then appearance ni... Uh, This thing is, uh, if you are uh, familiar with Photoshop, this is like uh, you can edit it by layers, I think, yeah. So you not fill to one up, you can change it here. Uh, you don't you don't need to use this, lah, basically. But it will, it is the same as this one, okay. So graphic styles ni, oh, boy. tak apalah ni, tak payah lalu. You don't need to like uh, understand this too. Uh, maybe if you have to use it later, you can explore by yourself. Okay, this one layer. Layer ni uh, for illustrator, for those who are familiar with Photoshop, you are working with layers, right? But if you um, work with uh, Adobe Illustrator, you, your, apa, your every object is not, layer automatically you have to like add a new layer tambah object baru contohnya so everything have to be done manually lah so tengok ni layer 2 ada this bintang so layer first uh, there's this one big star so if you don't want to show this layer you tutup je <coughs> um, if you guys don't understand what layer is is basically um, if you are drawing right uh, You have your first layer as a hutan and then your second layer as animal. So the animal has to be in front of hutan. So yeah. So uh, if you don't want, you want to edit the animal only, you have to choose layer one. And then if you want to edit the hutan, you can choose layer two. It's like you can edit by layer lah, exactly. So you put them into yeah layers lah. Huh? Okay, and then export, like export, uh, artboard. This one is what I mentioned just now lah. Because you have three artboards here. 
R pot 1 which one, R pot 2 which one lah kan. So R pot 1 is this, 2 is this, 3 is this. So yeah. Okay. So um, um, then uh, I haven't taught you one, I haven't teach you one, one important thing is how to export your uh, artwork. But before that, um, Oh, it's already 11, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, I'll just teach you on how to export artwork. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. So let's say lah, let's say you want to export this star, kan? You have finished with this star, blah, 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 semua, kan? Okay. You have finished with this star. So you want to export this as a uh as a finished product you want to share it, it at your instagram man eh? you're so proud of this star i don't know why so you don't you can always export export as yeah okay so um contohnya lah ya wait uh. okay uh Okay, here, here maybe you dah, you dah pilih your folder of choice, money you nak letak kan. So, uh, you want to use this star here, star. And then, save file type as PNG. Oh, there's no JPEG here. Okay, um, usually, uh, okay, yeah, uh, this is one general knowledge lah. Uh, this, this, uh, I advise you guys to always uh, export whatever you make in PNG because uh, oh that's a JPG here but um, because JPG is uh, is uh, like uh, uh, PNG is the latest one to compare to JPEG because uh, PNG has more it's more versatile uh, it can be used uh, you can it has a low it has a higher resolution uh, a better uh, a better portability when you want to tarik the thing it will not pecah easily but JPEG it, it your image will be compressed will can easily be compressed so if you guys are creating any artwork just use PNG uh, instead of JPEG yeah uh, it, it will be like uh, a lot sometimes it is uh, a, a lot smaller so you export use png and then okay here there's there's mention here like use artboards so if you don't use artboards okay yeah uh, let let i uh, show you if you don't take use artboard right you just export yeah okay it will, okay first uh, you can choose your resolution make it like medium and then you choose background color white as an example so you can also choose transparent yeah so white or black so um press ok and then uh and then um freelance and then your image will be like this uh, it will put this one if you don't uh, take use at bots it will like uh choose whatever in your work just now to be put into one image uh, so it is uh it is use useful if you want to like show everything what you did in the it is useful if you want to show everything you did in here if you want to show everything you did in here but if you want to just show this one thing make sure you press this uh, uh just now export export as use art pods so if you want to choose range, you can choose lah one until three ke or three only ke or all ke. You can choose any of those lah. So I just choose all, export. So uh, so medium type optimize interlace white background white. It can also be transparent up to you guys. Okay, tekan okay. And then uh, okay, you can see here it is divided into three things. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so this one baru is the correct one. Okay. So um, 
that one if you have finished doing your thing and then uh, the, uh, this is another general knowledge if you guys are printing banners um, or even bunting um, banners and bunting lah usually or if anything that need it to be printed in a large in a large um, what do I say that? in a large real life size uh, you have to usually the printing shop will ask you to to save in pdf so pdf it's not it's not like uh you you want to read it or what just save it as pdf so that the shop the the printing shop will know that you want to print this big and you want the quality not to be not to be affected lah so you can uh, if you press export export right just now like I, what i did just now there's no option of pdf yeah so how do you save as pdf and so save as lah save as and then you change to pdf now you can also use your box or even range here yeah so um um okay uh that is how do you finish uh, how do you export your things uh about the if you want to print things um like banner or something like that in the future if you may need the skills or whatnot um make sure you use pdf when you send to the shop and then um this is uh, one um what do i say uh, hack hack shit uh, tips lah tips basically um one foot usually uh when when uh man, when you have a banner right i'm giving you as example yeah kejap yeah when you are making a banner or something like that man, where do i put it Okay, as an example, this right. Bunting direction. Okay. Um. So this one, uh, I made is uh, basically ten times twenty foot. So uh, it is. 10 foot uh, 10 kaki 10 foot uh, high and then the, the width is uh, 20 foot so uh, you must wonder how do you like design what is your the dimension of um, uh, foot to convert to pixels right okay so if you guys have maybe you guys have to design 4 by 10 4 by 10 punya uh, banner right so uh, this one is just general knowledge if you are later have to design things it's just a bonus kind of things lah so if you are have to Allah Akbar buruk eh what's this thing uh, this is ish ah Okay, so apa besar Okay, for the word ni tak boleh lah. Uh, okay, so basically, if you want to like design four by ten, right? Um, one foot is equal to two hundred fifty pixels. Okay, yeah. so if you are required to like design things um, uh, 4 by 10 can the, the width is 10 foot so 1 foot is 250 pixels so 10 is 2500 lah and then uh, 4 is 4 times 1000 lah okay 
So this is uh, how you convert from foot to points to pixels. Because if you choose foot here, right? Uh, oh, maybe if you are uh, so, so smart, you want to like convert how many millimeters is one foot and blah, blah, blah. So you just buat boom, besar and jadi and it will, your, your illustrator will be very heavy. So it cannot process your things. So you can just convert one foot to 250 pixels. So you just create. Yeah, something like this. Okay. So, um, I think, yeah. Oh, okay. So that is how, uh, if you, if you are going to print it. And then just now I also mentioned on how you want to export your, uh, artwork. Okay. Now I'll go into maybe one last, one or two last things. It is not that important. It is just for you guys. If you guys have the will to learn on the, uh, on this part, it is okay. So I'll show you on how to type, um, type along the, along the shape. Okay. Yeah. So let it, I give you an example if you are making a round shape, right? Be it any. Okay, if you want to type around the shape, you make sure that you choose the shape first using V selection tool. Then you press type tool. And then uh, if you click on this, if you click on path like this, okay, uh, it will change to path. It will write the, it will write, it will return the path. So, um, okay. Uh, you will you are uh, you can type everything inside the circle without things going out of the circle. Yeah. Okay. You can like buat petak ke apa ke, and you can type inside. Everything will be inside the circle. Okay. That is one thing. And then you can also whole type. And then uh, you can look at this, all this, okay, area type tool, type on a path tool, a vertical type tool, vertical area type tool, okay. I'll just show you uh, two or three of this. So type on a path tool. So what is path? Path is whatever uh, line that you create in Illustrator lah. So if this, this is also a line, so uh, boom. So if you type, if you press here, it will like auto make a, a put text around the circle. So like if you want to like fill up bola sepa, uh, sorry, sorry, I'll make it English. Football club, this mentari, something like that. So, uh, okay, if you have already typed whatever you want, okay, yeah, and then you can press here, you can drag this thing, uh, so you can like move it around, okay, sorry, oh, okay, so you can like, um, Uh, you can move it around like this. So yeah, uh, up to you guys. And then, if things are happening as what you don't want, you just press undo je lah. Don't, don't, don't be too worried. Don't, don't be so afraid of it lah. Yeah. So if you are, so then this is one lah, okay, yeah, football class material. And then if you want to make it bigger, just make it bigger here. Okay, you can rotate the thing. Okay, it will be like this. So you can put anything in the middle, something like that. All right, yeah. So um, another thing is that, okay, I'll just make another circle. 
Okay, um, there's this one like vertical type on a path tool. So it will type vertically like uh, this one lah. Uh, so yeah, if you can see it, it's like that. Instead of the normal one, it will type vertically like this. So there's a lot more going on in this. So just try it out. Don't be afraid, yeah. Okay, vertical type tool, touch type tool, yeah, banyak lah. Okay, even uh, okay, even if every every look every tools here, if if there's like more option in it, you can you can just hold and then tengok whatever inside it, yeah. Okay, so pencil tool, smooth tool, path eraser tool, join tool, yeah. There's a lot more things here. So I can cover it in one workshop. So another interesting thing is that, okay, contohnya lah. I want to teach you on how to make a 3D text. Okay, contohnya, I'll just write IIUM here. Then I change it to Gotham. Gotham Boo. IIUM, right? So I'll make it like, warna apa IIUM? Bull. Yellow. Macam pelik ya. Um, okay lah. Okay. Look, look. Better. Okay. Okay. First, okay, you dah type and then you dah you have already chosen the text. Make sure whatever you want to do with the object, you have to choose the object first, yeah? And then Windows, Effect, and then you, you change 3D. 3D and then you can choose like extrude or level. So here, okay, this is the, the thing that you want to change out and then you tick preview, boom. So your image will become 3D. Uh, this might like put some stress on your laptop or even PC, tapi up to you guys lah. Uh, if this will, might, will make your image, uh, your art look a lot like cooler like you know how to do this yeah something like that so there's a lot of things here you can like choose the bevel type to be like classic tajam tajam macam ni ke or you want to make it look like jaggy tajam like gergar gaji sikit rounded bulat bulat yeah something like that so nine lah kita buat biasa or we can choose like wire uh, this one is uh, surface lah diffuse shading or even plastic shading. So this one, uh, banyak lah. You can choose like off axis left, right, top. Tengok ah, dia terbaring dah. Bottom, yeah, something like that. Custom rotation. So cancel. Jadi lah biasa berkali. If you want to use it, just apply tadi ya. Ah, uh, mana tadi? Effect three D revolve. Ha, tengok ha. Can also be like this. What the hell is this? Macam ubat nyamuk. So ya, yeah, jangan don't choose uh, revolve lah. Just choose the extrude and bevel. So, okay. Let's say you dah puas hati with this. Kan okay. Alright. So there you go. You have your own uh, 3D letter. Okay. Alright. Um, and then one last one. Uh, additional information, additional uh, skill that I want to teach you guys is uh, image tracing. So image tracing can be two ways. First, you trace image like what I like what I uh, show you just now manually like this. Okay, you trace by using pen pen tool just now. Okay. Uh, you can trace it manually, you guna pen like this, boom, boom, you take the points, draw it. Or you can also like use this button, image trace. 
ah hilang tu so you press this and then uh, you change it to color you have to uh, but this thing will also put your laptop uh, at the load yeah so these things will like uh, turn your image that you get from uh, from maybe from Google into a vector yeah so you have to play around with the uh, crazy result uh, the preset ni tak payah testing view pun tak payah uh, and then you change the color you want it to be grayscale or black and white it's up to you color how much color you want uh, you want just two color or 30 colors and pass and then after you have done chosen this and then you have to play around with this until you get the best version of the logo like it, it replicate the same as the before because if the thing is not okay uh this is uh important if you sorry if you um uh, copy things straight into illustrator uh if that thing is high definition it is no problem you can just use that thing straight from whatever you copy but if it if if, if it is like pecah pecah one uh it is pixelated um so you you have to redraw it you have to redraw it first you have you can also trace it manually or you can just use the auto image trace that i did like like this um and then after you have done um modifying all this sampai you get the accurate representation of that picture so you can play around with the corners how many corners you want how many corners in the picture that it should be or noise um, um how uh area that uh the 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 what the, the spaces between those uh objects yeah so you play around with this and then you can look at whatever happening here lah. after you have done after you rasa you have satisfied with all the adjustment that you made you click expand okay okay you can close this you can close this you okay so you can put it put this here lah. okay this is the icon for image trace yeah so if you have closed this okay you you got your iium punya uh, logo in high definition yeah so it is like this lah so if you got this already why does it look unfamiliar to me oh okay uh, the black line is also missing because it detected as the same color as the background so they hilang sekali like okay contohnya lah you have done with this kan so what is so special about this when you change it to the vector using the image tracing just now you can resize it how big you want without it to be pixelated yeah ah tengok so this image trace function is very important if you if you have like pixelated image or you want the image to have a better resolution a better showing yeah but because if you just directly copy uh, if the image is high definition the original image is high definition it it shouldn't be a problem but if you don't have the high definition you have to do image trace or you can trace it manually using your pen yeah uh, i'll give you one example that i did uh, i have like uh design some look uh, i have to redraw some logos for my company because all the logos have been outdated have outdated so i decided to redraw everything where is it so oh okay So this is like um uh, this is what I draw based on yeah wait uh, I I give you that branches logo so this is the the one that I got from the net because 
Where? So if you besarkan this one, it will be like this. Very, very pixelated kind of things. So this one, I take the initiative to redraw the things. Although the you can say that you can see that the 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 shape is not exactly the same, but um, if the logo is just to be put in the letter or something like that, it will not be too obvious lah, because the we don't have the contact to to contact the original designer. So yeah, so this is where image tracing is important lah. You can draw this using pen, or you can just yes use this image trace button just now um, but if you use this image trace button like this is very bad kind of um, situation here so if you use image trace like it will be like this so if you change this uh, maybe okay you make color and then even you if you play around with this it will be like very we will be like uh, it cannot be fixed at all even you change a lot for still cannot fix so if this thing happen you have to redraw it lah you have to redraw you uh, okay you can cancel a bit okay oh shoot Uh, I'm undoing all the changes. Okay. All right. So, um, like this kind, I have to like find what is the font that is used. Uh, I have to redraw the lines using pen tool. This one easy lah. Uh, peta peta and all this have to recreate everything lah. If the logo is easy, it's not a problem. But if the logo is like complicated ones, uh, you have to do uh, more jobs lah, like this kind of, like this is easy. So yeah, so uh, some of this is easy lah. So yeah, I think um, that's two bonus function, that's two bonus content on uh, 3D, how to make a 3D word. And image tracing is a very important knowledge lah in Illustrator. Uh, um, it's already, oh yeah, crack lima minute, Chris Plum here, okay. So, um, I think, I think I don't have anything more to drag this workshop on for another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I think that's a lot enough and that is a lot for you guys to take in for today because me myself when I only learn like a bit a bit bit from time to time so just take your time learning this um, I was hoping to like um, to like let you to let you guys to uh, learn uh, to do yourself your infographic and show us the hasil the, the result in this workshop but i don't think we have time so yeah i think that is all from me uh, and uh if you have any question do ask afterward and if you have uh if you want to contact me in the future you can just find my name lah hairi azman uh it is hairi azman anywhere even in twitter instagram it's like that so you can ask me if I have the time. I will, I will help. I will answer. And yeah, I think that is all from me. I think I've covered around like seventy percent or sixty percent of the things in Illustrator today. The other thirty percent, uh, you guys have to like learn by yourself. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you guys have to learn by yourself and then explore by yourself. And then uh, if you guys hit an uh, obstacle, don't know how to like proceed or don't know how to um, uh, afraid that your design will be will not be successful or what, just chill down, cool down and then just YouTube, Google, whatever you want to Google 
find how to blah 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 how to blah blah even even me myself i've i've googled some of the things before i've uh, uh i'm teaching this today because yeah you cannot rem- remember everything right so yeah so um i think that is all for me don't don't be afraid to to learn in uh youtube it is all there senang je and then illustrate oh, okay one more thing uh some people do start with photoshop some people do start with illustrator me myself i start studying i start learning photoshop and then baru i i explore into illustrator but um i think it is better for anyone to learn illustrator first yeah so um this is a good opportunity just learn illustrator first if you have the time later if you have mastered illustrator you can move into uh, uh photoshop later okay i think that is all for me thank you hey, uh, uh, sorry how can make a table in the artboard um are we need as now yeah okay um what do you mean by a table like a table in excel is it oh um yes. okay. okay um yeah let me just show you quickly yeah. entire screen Okay, sorry i'm presenting again so um here in illustrator uh there's no like uh table punya i mean macam easily you can like build a table here so it's basically you have to like draw the things or even yeah i don't know lah if there is what is this Yeah, so I think you. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't have to. Is it this one? Line graph. Oh, I'm not so sure if you have the function that um that can easily draw a table that I I haven't like try to do uh, a table before. So maybe you can just. Uh, do it manually or you can just copy paste from if you really need to use a table can you can just copy paste from even you can just uh, copy paste from excel or even just paste paste on the illustrator yeah so um i'm sorry i i'm not sharing anything point so uh, if there there is a way to to do tables in the future maybe i will share to the committee ke apa ke yeah later so yeah i think that is all from me lah thank you yeah do you have the latest version of photoshop software if you don't mind can you share the zip file um i don't have the photoshop file uh, um like i i think i have it but uh it will be such a hassle to like upload it and then uh write write about now So I think what what can I what can I teach you guys here is to how oh, how oh, because it's not it's not it's not morally okay to do this. Uh, just to to go just search uh Photoshop in get into PC ya yeah? get into PC. I ulang balik get into PC. You just search uh Adobe uh, and then you just search for the latest Photoshop. They, they 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 always provide the latest one there so yeah because not everyone has the money right so yeah world is unfair yeah okay that's all thing for me thank you any other question tak ada ah if that is all i'll pass the floor to na